Hello everybody, so like I promised yesterday, I am going to um, show you guys how to get Steam running on Windows XP, or this could also go for Vista 32 or 64 bit. Now, Shark Vader, like I was saying in the last video, and I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description, but he had a video uploaded on how to get it running on XP and Vista that was uploaded last March in 2021. And for, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, it got taken down. And lucky for me, I managed to get it through the Wayback Machine. I'm going to have the stuff, like the the files he had, the Steam for XP, the Steam package, and then the config.vdf on my uh, Google, Google Drive. Those links will be in the description. And then the package info.vdf, that's that you get that, you know, from your C drive under Steam, under App Cache. That's where you get your. Uh, in, in this case, again, I, you know, this is the same virtual machine, you know, like yesterday I uploaded that video about the, the XP updates. I got that fully updated, which that's probably a pre It's It's probably um, that I would suggest updating, getting it up to date before even doing this because it might, it might not work otherwise. I pre to getting this this old, even though it's an older version, it's still, you know, because there's security updates and stuff. So, I already updated everything to the latest. I got all the latest updates, you know, including the POS Ready 2009 updates. So, alright, without talking too much more, uh, let's get into this. Yeah, so first what you're going to want to do is get Steam. Just ins This is, you know, just the regular in Steam installer. You get it from Steam's website. You know, so, yeah, go English, C drive, program file, Steam. And then if you try and launch it right now, yeah, C, C, program file, Steam. Is not a valid Win32 application, so um, all right. So yeah, we'll go ahead and delete this. That's a Steam setup, and then what I like to do is um. Yeah, see, like, because look, this is the this is the Steam package, and see, app cache bin. I mean, it looks good right now, but I think when if you if you just directly extract it, because we're we're gonna we're going to extract this to the C drive under the C drive program files, or if, yeah, for, you're on X sixty four version of XP or Vista. Program files x86 Steam. That's where it would be uh, extracted. But what I like to do is just go here. Yeah, so it's we're in there, and then we could literally just maybe we could even just copy it. Control A, copy. Because I the problem with uh, Seven Zip is is it'll create like a folder within a like it'll say Steam for XP and then. Like, it's got to be uh, in the root Steam folder, or it won't, it might not work, so, that's why it's, yeah, so you can just go ahead and paste, and then we just say yes to all, just copy all that, <laughs> alright, so, we're, we're good there. We should be good anyway, hopefully. But yeah, so we're good there. 
And then what you're going to do next is you're going to log in to your Steam account. See, Steam, log into an existing account. I'm just going to type in my, e my username and password to Steam. Click remember my password. Yeah, and then here's where you would enter in your special your um, access code, which um, I'd have to go to my oh gosh um I yeah I'd have to go to my email to get so I'll be right back guys. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. I got the code for my email, so we'll go ahead and. Yeah, remember this computer. On um, yeah, make be sure to press on block when that if that pops up for you. And then at this point, as you can see, we're, we're given it a few seconds. Nothing's popping up. So what we want to do is just close out of Steam. Make sure it's not running, which it looks good to be looks good now so at this point we just go we can just go here properties find target and then here's where we go to the um, the app cache folder we're going to replace the package info.vdf which like I said before that's the you know like your C drive See, this is exactly where you get your, like you notice that old package info.vdf to this very day. That's where you look, you get it. So I'm not going to give you guys my package info.vdf because it, you, sh you guys should have it already. But so, um, yeah, you just copy that from if you're on, yeah, like if you're on a virtual machine or whatever, you can just copy that over or email it to yourself or whatnot and then you use this package info converter to do that you hit okay. you hit any key and then leave all this other stuff as is but be sure to hit do read only for package info vdf and then config that vdf that's like i believe that's the um like config files for Steam servers. So, you know, like their content servers in particular. So yeah, config.vdf, that would go under the, where's, yeah, config. This is where it is. So config, we want to replace that config file, config.vdf. Um, make sure it goes into Steam under the config folder, which is already there, should already be it there. And then at that point, you, go, you, go, you can go ahead and just pretty much launch Steam again. Yet again, type in your password. And you give it a minute to load, and as you can see, it's running right there. Steam will stop running on, yeah, that's always going to be there. You can see we get, um, you can, you, you know, you, the web browser still partially works, although scrolling is broken. I believe you can, you can still download games, like, I'm just going to... I'm going to do something small because, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, prove a point, but all right, Doom 2, I could do possibly, I could try that. And I think even if the, because, you know, I'm in Chicago, so even if the Chicago servers didn't work, I think like Vietnam servers, which is like, in my experience, at least equally as fast, because we have like a 50 megabit per second internet connection, so download speed, so. Let's see. 
Uh, yeah, see, so manifest unavailable. So something I would definitely try is go to downloads. Yeah, see, U.S., Chicago, Vietnam. At least the last time I, that's, that's what I did before, and I got it to work. And then we have to restart Steam. And fingers crossed. Huh. Weird. Alrighty, everybody. Um so some technical difficulties. I tried a I tried a handful of different servers and Apparently, um, I'm currently trying the UK, uh, London one for a, a post on archive.org, the Steam November 26, 2018, um, client, this right, this post right here, and, um, I, uh, I couldn't get it to download anything. So, worst case, guys, I'll make another video. So I can show you guys how you can, like, just copy, manually copy games over. Last time I tried this on a different system a while back. The download, actually, it wasn't even that long ago. Like, maybe a month or so ago. The downloading worked. I switched it to the Vietnam server and... Um, it worked, so I really don't understand why. I mean, I guess with time, you know, they change their servers and stuff, but, you know, I guess at, for the time being, I'll have to show you guys how to copy over. That'll probably be either the next video or one of the upcoming videos, because I had some other ideas, but I, I still am going to put um, the link to this stuff in the description so that you guys can access it, and then I'll, I'll give you guys the link to um, Shark Vader's channel as well, and then also I may, I may post the link to, um, to this right here, Steam Build November 26th. 2018 so thank you thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video